Good morning, my name is Tim Gilbert. I'm your Business 320 instructor. I wanted to talk to you about um, Chapter 1 and specifically Section 2 types of data. And what I wanted to do was to make this a little bit simpler discussion than uh, it can sometimes seem. I brought up a chart here listing uh, or the first question on our chart is what is the level of measurement referencing Chapter 1, Section 2 and I've got some guests to help us with interval, ordinal, and nominal data types. And you've seen these before, but they're under new names and you have to be a little more careful uh, when you're using statistics. So let's bring our first guest in. I'm really excited about it. Uh, he's come a long way to visit us and I think you'll recognize him when you see him. Oh yes, here's Bill Clinton, our first guest this morning. Bill's a Democrat, uh, so he's an ex-president, that's a nominal data type. Uh, he's a Democrat, and uh, he's left of center, but we can count up the number of Democrats and do a proportion on what the proportion of Democratic presidents have been out of the 44 presidents. Uh, we can also do a frequency count on Democrats. Uh, we can see where Bill was ranked as a president. That would be ordinal data, ranking data. And uh, we can see uh, how tall Bill is. He's six feet tall. He doesn't look too tall this morning, but he's six feet tall. Uh, in his presidential days, he uh, weighed about 220. So we could do uh, an average of... Uh, Interval, uh, interval ratio data of height and weight, take an average and then take a confidence interval for a lower and upper boundary later on. And uh, we'd know a little bit more about Bill. Well, let's, uh, let's see what Bill has to say this morning. You can't say you love your country and hate your government. It's a short speech, about six seconds. We can do interval ratio data and the length of his speeches. This has got to be one of the really short ones for him. He spoke loud this morning, so if we had a meter that we could capture the decibels, I'd guess Bill right now is about 50 decibels. Just kind of speaking in my ear here. Uh, but that would be interval ratio data. We could take a mean of that uh, decibel re read reading. Bill, thanks for stopping by and enjoy your retirement. Our second guest this morning is uh, George W. Bush. Uh, George is a Republican. He's right of center. That would be nominal information about George. We could take a proportion on Republicans in the presidency you know, or just uh, frequency count them. Uh, George will be rated by historians. They've started to rate him already where he is as far as performance, first, second, third, or fourth. Uh, and then George is about 5'10", so he's a little shorter than Bill Clinton. And uh, we could take an average between Bill and George and see what the average president uh, uh, height is with our interval ratio data. One population, calculate a mean or average, and then calculate a confidence interval. Uh, so we've got our three data types about George. Let's see what he has to say this morning. Morning, George. What do you have to say? Free people will set the course okay. of history. Good. Well, free people will set the course of history. It's kind of a motivational speech. Uh, and uh, maybe uh, patriotic. Depends on the category you want to put it in. But uh, we could have, you know, foreign policy speeches, economic speeches, uh, defense speeches. And uh, this one would be a motivational speech. So we'd put a little check mark down here. And, uh, you know, then count up the proportion, uh, calculate the proportion of motivational speeches that he makes relative to the other types of speeches. So there's a ranking for him. We've got his height and weight. He spoke uh, not, didn't seem as loud as Bill, Bill Clinton. So I'll say uh, he's around 40 decibels or so. But thanks for stopping. And his was a short speech, maybe five, six sentence, seconds. That would be interval ratio data also. Thanks. Enjoy your retirement. Hey, busy guy stopped this morning. Barack stopped in to see us. Uh, Barack's about 6'2", interval ratio data, about 190 pounds. 
you could we could calculate an average weight and height for the three presidents. Uh, he's no ranking yet because he's still president. He's a Democrat, nominal characteristic. Uh, left of center would be another nominal characteristic that we could uh, bucket him in. Once we uh, do that, we can calculate a proportion of Democratic presidents or uh, count up the frequency. Well, let's see what Barack has got to say for us this morning. Thanks for stopping, Barack. Would you like to say something? Sure. The road ahead will be long. Okay. Our climb will be steep. Yes. We may not get there in one year or even in one term. Well, don't wait too but long. But America, I have never been more hopeful we than I am tonight that we will get there. Get there. I promise you, we as a people will get there. Good. Well, he's, uh, that's a motivational speech. Uh, we're going to get there. And... Uh, he spoke longer. He spoke maybe 30 seconds. So he's the longest speaker of the three presidents in interval ratio data. Didn't speak as loud, so I'd put him down and uh, gee, I think I said 50 and 40, maybe 30 decibels. But uh, that would be, uh, we could take an average reading on decibels. So I hope our, uh, well thanks Brock. Get back to work, straighten things out. Hope our little uh, guests this morning uh, helped us with uh, interval, ordinal, and nominal data. Don't make it over complicated, but you have to be careful to take an average when it makes sense. You wouldn't average categories, but you would take a proportion for categories or nominal data. You wouldn't uh, average uh, ordinal rankings, but you would take proportions of the times that your presidents were rated first, second, or third, or a frequency count for that. And then you would average interval ratio data. So take your time and uh, don't make it too complicated. Enjoy statistics and uh, we'll talk to you soon.